Hello Virgo, welcome to Reading Journey. I am Journey and I'm doing a reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Virgo for hello, welcome, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to those of you who celebrate. Happy Hanukkah. If you're watching this at another time, don't worry. These readings are timeless. God knows exactly where you are on the journey, okay? All right, so what we're starting off with is Rebecca Campbell, the Rose Oracle. So let's go on and get into it. Let's see, my loves. What's going on with the lovely Virgos? All right, Virgo, give me one moment here. Okay, so I feel right now, Virgo, you're in a place where you're taking a time out and you're not feeling guilty about it. Someone or somebody or something may make you, be making you feel guilty for taking this time out for yourself. But I feel like, and you may have let it bother you before, but I feel like you're not letting it bother you now. You're taking this time for yourself and you realize that no, I'm being selfish this time. This is about me. I need time to myself. And you're definitely taking that. Um, good for you. You're taking the range. You're like, I'm not budging on this. I'm not doing it. Somebody is also trying to get you or force you to take a trip or vacation or a trip that you don't want to take. And you're putting your foot down on that. I see that as well. You're saying no to it, whoever that is. Um, but there's something too people may be trying to encourage you or entice you to do and you're just like i'm not doing it period and this energy is not letting you let go of that which is actually a good thing they may be thinking oh you're being such a b or whatever but mm -mm. you're actually it's a good move because some of you actually the decision you're making will decide it could cause you some harm in the future. And I'm not gonna go too much in detail on that, but I do see that it could cause you some harm if you don't stick to your guns on this, okay? There could be some type of um, something that happens that's not good, okay? Um, you don't want that to happen. Um, so I'm glad that you're holding your ground on that and, and your ancestors also, family that's involved that love you, angels, whatever, are helping you to stay grounded on that. God's like a no on that okay so bear with me here i'm just trying to figure out what else is going on here because it's switching on me so i do feel like you're really focused on your goals right now um especially when it comes to your financial goals you may be wanting to start some type of a business or you want to create something to start a business for yourself to have your own income i think that's a great thing to do um i really do i think everybody should just have that one thing that they should be doing for themselves um it's just i don't know it's just healthy it just seems healthy and balanced to me but you know you didn't come here for my opinions but anyway basically i do see that you are attracting what it is you want career wise whatever you're doing career for your career or finances whatever you're calling in you're manifesting it's working i do see somebody meditating meditating and calling finances in um i do see that as well um i don't know if that is working but i do see that that is something that you are doing Okay, I definitely would master the universe on that as far as finances, knowing that you are worthy, um, knowing that the, the universe wants the best for you financially. They do not want you to struggle in any way, but they also are not about having more than you need. Okay, they are about us collecting what we need on a daily basis. This does not mean that you have do not have a savings. That does not mean that. It just means that how much is enough are we chasing what other people are telling us to chase or are we um gathering what it is that we need 
that the divine wants us to have. So in other words, let me give you an example. I used to be like, oh yeah, I want a mansion, blah, 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 blah. And then I realized over time, well, I didn't realize, actually God told me this, was like, you really don't want that. And then I realized, no, I don't. Because then I started really getting into, I'm a person I like closed rooms in some weird way. And almost a lot of people do not like it because it's claustrophobia to them. But I'm very into much into tiny houses. So I like little tiny homes with a little side, one off to the side. If I had a picture, I'd show it to you. But there's one that I really want that I want to, I'm considering at some future in the building, in the building process praying that that can happen whereas I have a section where I live off of right the kitchen the bedrooms all that bathroom bedrooms upstairs blah blah blah, blah. but then off the side you have like an office a lounge room and that's all I want and that's all I need and it's a tiny home but I did not realize that's what I liked I was going by what society had taught me to love what taught to taught me to like you know what I mean? So I had this idea of, yeah, and I need this, and I need to have that, and I need to travel all over the world. And true, I do still want to travel. I love to travel all over the world. But, um, you know, so basically, how much is enough? Not to say that you're not entitled to do what you want to do, but how much is enough? Are you chasing your dream, or are you chasing somebody else's? And, the, and often what we find later is that the dream that we were chasing that was like everybody else, those people are totally miserable. So, just saying, that's for somebody. Anyway, but in the meantime, I do see you attracting, bringing in finances for yourself. You, you got your mind made up that you want a career that makes you happy or you want a business or you want money of some sort. So I do see that. Mm -hmm. So, um, sorry for the noise. Um, bear with me here. But the universe is also giving you a sign of warning, um, just to be aware that um, take a rest, don't overdo it, don't burn yourself out. Because what happens is when we try to go too hard, or we try to go in meditation too hard, or we try to work, 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 work hard, we end up burning ourselves out, and then we don't even get to the goal anyway, or we end up dead before we can get to the goal. Okay, we have a heart attack, and a heart attack, and we stress out, we get unhealthy. So they just want to make sure you are aware of that as well. Other than that, everything looks good, Virgo. I think I'm done. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to find more content here, then definitely subscribe. If you want to know more about me, you can check out the information in the description box below. Otherwise, I will see you on next Sunday. Bye-bye.